Now, when it comes to Arsenal, Arsenal Football Club, Mikel Arteta, the players, the individual players, the potential of the players and many other talking points, us Arsenal fans find ourselves engaging in a number of positive debates. And Lord knows it's been a very long time since we've reached this kind of space as an Arsenal fan, especially under Mikel Arteta. The sun is now shining, brighter days seem ahead. But there is one question that all us Arsenal fans find ourselves debating amongst ourselves. And one that I find very interesting and intriguing according to different reports. Do Arsenal need a striker? Do Arsenal need a forward? Do Arsenal need another forward, essentially? You could argue that it seems crazy for a team that got 88 goals last season in 2022-23 and currently, and counting this season, has 70 Premier League goals, excluding everything we've done in all competitions. Now, I do think I see both sides of the debate and I do think it's very intriguing and I don't think there is a right or wrong answer if I'm completely honest with you. So let, let, let's engage in a potential debate and see the pros and cons. Personally, I believe when it comes to this debate, it's one where we have to tread lightly. I don't think there's a right or a wrong answer and I think there's many gears and layers to this. On one hand, a team has to be multifunctional. You know, Manchester City would look very different if the burden of scoring goals was purely just based on Erling Haaland or of course, he's a striker. He's paid to score goals. His goals make the difference. But you've got many players in and around the side. You even look at Liverpool. You had Mohamed Salah getting the core nucleus of goals when they were winning major honours. You had Mane chipping in. You had Firmino. Yes, Firmino didn't have the greatest of goal returns, but he returned something and the, the difference was made up in and around everybody else. If we are to reach the promised land, as Mikel Arteta once said, and I've shown you this several times, Arteta has said the top teams need to score 90 to 100 goals, as well as keeping an X amount of clean sheets. Now, we're ticking over in both assets. At the end of the day, football is decided in both boxes. We're improving a Tenfold defensively, goals are being spread out amongst the team. You know, we've got many different goal scorers. We're scoring great goals, great teamwork goals, a million passes, long ranges. You know, players off the bench are bagging. Obviously, we've become a great side in terms of set pieces. So there's more variety and more layers where our goals are concerned. And you know, really and truly, we're doing quite great. And the very fact that we're competing for a Premier League title and in the latter stages of a Champions League campaign considering all of this is phenomenal take nothing away from it but when you deep it and you look at the people that lead the line for Arsenal Football Club take nothing away from what Kai Havertz has brought to the table and his real fine run of form um, where he's actually playing up front and making the difference for the football club and he's continued that representing Germany Trossard's had spells as a false nine obviously a lot of us would love to see Martinelli one day do something of that ilk I don't think he's quite ready for that but you get the point but if you were to look at Gabriel Jesus Leandro Trossard and Kai Havertz, would you, for all of their qualities, would you define them as goal scorers, as having a proven history and track record of bagging goals? Probably not. So could you argue we could potentially have the best of both worlds where all of these players and the accompanying acts I haven't mentioned keep scoring goals, but we bring in a striker, whether that's a target man, a bagsman, a plan B, someone that could get us 20 odd goals, turn some defeats into draws, some draws into victory, more free points on the board. When we're going into latter stages, stages of competitions, believing that if worse comes to worse, there is a messiah of sorts. Again, football is an 11-man game. You need everybody to stand up to be counted. And also, you know, when Arsenal are at our best, we're very good. And we've shown this season and last year that when things aren't going well for us, whether players make mistakes, whether there is setbacks, in previous years, you know, we would give up on falter and that individual incident would become the talking point. But we've shown we've got a lot more grit, heart, determination to react to setbacks. But also, football is about sometimes how good are you at your worst? You know, let's just assume we have an off day. We're absolutely terrible. I know it's not as easy as this, but assume we're terrible and we've got a striker that's clinical. He needs two shots to bag and we're crap. We get two goals out of nowhere. We get an extra three points. We could potentially get bailed out. Um, and again, we know when we're going on this project at Arsenal Football Club, as I said, we're getting many different goal scorers, many different options, you know, many different players coming off the bench and scoring. Goals are being spread out. The burden is being shared, rightly so. You know, Odegaard's got the capacity to score. Martinelli has the capacity to score. Gabriel Jesus' injuries are becoming a talking point. But him, Kai Havertz, Trossard, to go with how Mikel Arteta is coaching us and us simply put playing some very sexy and cerebral football. The goals are being shred, shed out. And we know we're doing this young project thing where players are, you know, going a few, across a couple of bumps and bruises on the road 
world, but they're ticking over to become the stars of tomorrow. When you peel back the layers, though, I would ask, and I do ask this question purely as being devil's advocate, who would you have in that Arsenal team as being a definitive goal scorer? Because I don't think there is any apart from one. I think everybody's got capacity to score goals. I think there's some fantastic players in the final third. But I would say Bakayo Saka, because he's done it the last two, three seasons, returning double figures. You know, Martinelli has the capacity to score goals, but this season hasn't exactly done that. Martin Odegaard of recent is finding his goal scoring touch again, but he's not a player that you would have you know, you would attribute to consistently scoring goals. Last season was an anomaly in that he's adding that to his game and he can continue to do that. But where them two are concerned, there's a lot of volatility. Obviously, Trossard is a rotational option and a great player at that. Um, and he can score goals. But at Arsenal Football Club, has he got the capacity of such? So I would say personally, only Bakayo Saka, really, that you'd bet your life, you know, in August is going to return X amount of goals in the Premier League. In a nice way, you know, I'm shocked, but not shocked if Martinelli or Odegaard, Gabriel Jesus, Trossard and Kai Havertz do that because for all their qualities, I don't have them down as goal scorers. And when you break down the pieces of our statistics, people, of the goals scored in the Premier League so far this season... Saka has scored 13 of those. Kai Havertz has scored eight. Now, take nothing away from Kai Havertz, but is it a purple patch on the goal scoring front? We know all the other facets that go in towards being a striker for Arsenal Football Club, you know, dropping deep, offering an option and all of that kind of stuff. Kai, Trossard, Gabriel Jesus, they do it to a T. As I said in a previous video, while I want a striker that scores goals, if for argument's sake, being a goal scorer was the only requirement to play in up front at Arsenal Football Club, then the names mentioned would not be said. As I said, goals have been spread out across this football club. Bakayo Saka has 13 in the league. Kai Havertz has eight. Trossard has seven. Gabriel Martinelli and Declan Rice both have sixes apiece. Uh, Big Gabriel and Gabriel Jesus, who's been injured, both have four goals. And there's a lot of other goal scorers. So again, it would go back to the question, who is a proven goal scorer? For me at this moment in time, every Everybody's got the capacity to score goals and score more goals. And we've got different protagonists week in, week out. But I would say for me, only Bakayo Saka on paper is, 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 on, is that. You know, assuming that Arsenal's football club's form kind of changed, is Kai Havertz still going to bag goals? Martinelli and, and Odegaard is very volatile on the goal scoring front. Trossard is in and out of the side. Gabriel Jesus is injured, respectfully to Eddie and Ketia, who has the capacity to score goals on occasion. With a consistent run in the side, is he necessarily going to bring those goals and we all can remember the, the, the November to December period where we were on reflection, I actually think we was playing quite well, but it looked like we were struggling psychologically with putting the ball in the back of the net because these same players are going and scoring. We've scored a lot of goals this season. Since the turn of the year, we've been probably the biggest goal scorers in the Premier League. Um, so a lot of it was psychological. And I do think our need for a goal scorer is slightly overrated and overstated. But I personally think we need a striker, if I'm completely honest with you, or at least another versatile attacker. As I said, we can all remember how the year ended where game where even though we weren't necessarily playing poorly, you know, the Newcastles where I think the performance was there, but we didn't create anything. Aston Villa where we couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. West Ham, which is probably the poster boy game for what we should have put the ball in the back of the net. Liverpool in the FA Cup where the quality was there, but ultimately you need to score to win games. Football is so simple, it's complex and it's so complex, it's simple, but at base level you need to keep balls out the back of your net and put balls in the in the opposition's net. And at times we haven't, we, we've done well defensively but we haven't always been able to do that and again when the team is when the team is flowing and confidence is high as you can see goals goals are from everywhere really we can't pay these Arsenal players not to score to the point where Gabriel Gabriel Martinelli's manager Mikel Arteta if he was to come off the bench he'd probably bag so I do think it's probably a bit overrated but I do personally believe the next trajectory of this football club has to be bringing in a striker or at least another versatile attacker maybe someone of the Trossard ilk and what I mean by that is Trossard can play on the left play on the right and also play up front if we could get someone like that that has a solid return of goals to go with what we've got and what we're developing then I think it is great me personally I think it's a touchy subject where I always say this I'm happy I'm not Mikel Arteta and I'm happy I don't have to make these complicated decisions you know again I would like a striker that gets us goals because we're a team that is on course to score around 90 goals and maybe even get to 100 this season with probably only 10 games left in the Prem. I don't know if that's going to be achieved, but we've got 12 games on paper where you consider the Bayern Munich game. So I think we're ticking over. And as I said personally,
personally, I want the best of both worlds. I want Martin Odegaard doing his mavericky stuff that he does with bringing goals. Martinelli, I want him to find his goal scoring touch. Trossard with minutes, uh, obviously, uh, make, playing a big factor, can score goals. And, and every other player, you know, Saka to get better, Declan Rice to keep doing it on that front. Who knows, maybe another midfielder that similar to Declan Rice and that, you know, you're never going to expect Declan Rice to score and assist even though he's doing it. But if somebody could come in doing what he's doing, then fair enough. Obviously, the better we get as a football team, people are probably next season going to try and defend against our set pieces. But from set pieces, there's all different sorts of goal scorers, which Gabriel in defence has benefited heavily from such. So I want our players to keep doing that, keep doing what they're doing. But I do think we need another striker. But at the same time, I said it before and I'll say it again. Where you look at everything Mikel Arteta demands of a forward, it's not just necessarily goals or Kai Havertz, Trossard, Gabriel Jesus wouldn't have led the line even to a degree Eddie and Ketia when he's done such. So it'd be interesting to see just what we do. Because I must admit, sometimes I think we're going to buy a striker. Sometimes I think we're going to get a multifunctional kind of player. And to be honest with you, at this moment in time, I do actually believe we're going to get another multifunctional player. If we could get someone that plays out wide as well as up front, but they're getting double figures in their league or respective leagues, and that comes in and adds into what we've already done, I think that's the route that will go down. But I don't know. What I would say is, though... I do personally believe if we could sign another multifunctional defender, another striker, an attacker, and a, and really, you know, not revamp our midfield, but find that long-term Declan Rice partner. Me personally, I believe Arsenal are cooking at the moment and will continue to cook. So I don't think there's any rights and wrong answers to this. But one thing I do know is that I would love to hear you lot's viewpoints. So I appreciate you lot checking out the vid. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know the striker or strikers you would want. Do you think we need a forward? Don't you think we need afford what sort of profile do you think we need etc etc don't get away about leaving a comment subscribing and all of that good stuff appreciative to you lot tuned in make sure you're checking out the rest of the videos and just as this video finishes i'm gonna go and make another one for you lot so the grind don't stop we're trying to get to 70k but that's enough waffling from me you lot stay safe stay blessed i'm out